is to adopt a resolution in support of the Space Preservation Act and the Space Preservation Treaty to permanently ban space-based weapons. And we have 15 speakers for this item. Councilmember Beckles, yeah. would you like to introduce this? I would. Um, you know, I think that uh, what I'd, I'd like to do is just kind of re rehash um, the statement of this issue um, for those who don't have uh, have the agenda in front of them. And the city of Richmond uh, is a welcoming and safe area for all of our residents. We have uh, been uh, led the way in so many initiatives that uh, that uh, protect. And, and provide the rights for all of our residents to 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 feel safe. Um, and so it's imperative that Richmond adopt this resolution in effort to stand in solidarity with residents who claim to be under assault with space-based weapons. Um, that should be outlawed by the Space Preservation Act. Now, the thing about this is that you know we're we're not trying something new here. It, this is this is in support of what's already there on the federal level. So we're saying as a council, we support this. Uh, this this uh, this tree that's already in in effect, and we also support our residents who are feeling um, uh, uh, attacked by by certain kinds of weapons. Um, and so, the purpose of this resolution is to show support for residents that identify themselves as targeted individuals by supporting the Space Preservation Act and, uh, that's been passed by Congress and Space Preservation Treaty to permanently ban space based weapons. Now, many targeted individuals believe they've been personally attacked with weaponry that should be outlawed by the Space Preservation Act. Um, some years ago, um, one of the residents who's going to talk now, um, met. I met with her. I met with many of them um, to talk about this issue. Um, I've also spoken with our police department. Um, uh, the representative from the department was Cap Captain Gagan to, to, to figure out how, how law enforcement can support um, these individuals, um, first of all, by at least listening and not assuming, um, and and, um, and and actually just taking reports of, of incidences uh, that are reported. And the police department was 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 open to that and is open to that and are willing to work with our residents and helping them to feel safe because it's important that all we all feel safe living in our city. Um, so in our city, we put forth our best effort to listen and respect the voices and wisdom of exp and experiences of our residents. And so I, I don't intend to ignore it, and I'm, and I'm hoping that my colleagues on this diet won't ignore, uh, but support those who suspect they have been exposed to these types of uh, inhumane attacks with the intent to cause them uh, uh, great emotional and bodily harm. Uh, and I'm encouraged by these, these residents, these citizens of Richmond, who stood up to protect other residents here. And I'd like to uh, encourage other officials at the local, the state, and national level to explore methods to expand support to all residents. And as many as you can see, those of us with an agenda in front of us and those who don't have an agenda in front of you who may be watching um, or, or the live cast on the web, is that there is no financial impact to this. This is this is not going to cost us anything, uh, and it's not going to hurt anyone to pass it. But it certainly would continue to cause emotional distress to those who are being targeted if we don't pass this. And I urge you to support all of our residents in the city. Uh, do we have questions from council members? Uh, okay, Vice Mayor. Just real quickly, you mentioned that this was passed by Congress. I'm, yeah. I'm, are you? Can you tell me when that happened? Because I'm, I'm trying to look it up now. I thought that this was just um, introduced in 2001 and never was. What, what was uh, actually, uh, Ms. Anderson can probably answer that question. When was it passed at the, uh, at the federal level, Ms. Ms. Anderson? Um, 9, 10, 10, 2002. Yeah. Space Preservation Act. Mm -hmm. And Congress, well, that... former Congressman uh, Dennis Kucinich had introduced um, this bill. We're, well, was that we're sort of getting out of our of our uh, process here. I think. Uh, uh, Watching, do you have other questions? Oh, well, no. I'm looking at the sheet that you're looking at. It looks like that's when the Berkeley City Council passed um, the resolution, um, not when Congress passed the law. I'm looking online at the House website, and I know that there's. Uh, I understand there's been multiple versions of this bill, so I don't know if it's been passed or not. But um, 
but but from what it looks like here, it doesn't look like that version was passed was was passed by Congress. So I don't know if it was, but I understand the Berkeley City Council passed it on nine ten of two thousand two. Yeah. Other, other questions from the council. Um, so I I had a couple of questions. Um, uh, I'm 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 looking at the uh, at the resolution. And it talks about the Space Preservation Act. Uh, can you tell me exactly what act that was? Or it was never. There's never been a Space Preservation Act passed, right? Okay. It, was, it wasn't passed. Um, uh, it, it, it was brought forward by by the um, the representative, the congressman at the time, um, because there were some. You know, you know how how it goes in in. In uh, in you know, in Washington, just just a lot of power play. So it never got, but it did get passed in 2002 uh, in Berkeley. Um, so so we're 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 making ours uh, similar to to the one that was passed in Berkeley. Well, it doesn't say anything about Berkeley on here. All it says no. is the Space Preservation Act. So right. Right. Are you talking about the resolution Berkeley passed, or are you talking about? Uh, one of the two uh, resolutions that uh, uh, Representative Kucinich introduced in the in in 2001 and two. Which well, because that one didn't pass, we're, we're just making reference that um, that it was uh, brought forward by uh, Dennis Kucinich, and of course, politics being the way they are, it, it did not pass. Uh, so this is this is I'm making reference to and and using the Berkeley model. Uh, as, as an example, well, which, for which, which one of the Kucinich resolutions did the Berkeley model refer to? HR thirty six sixteen, House Resolution thirty six sixteen. I didn't hear you. What House Resolution thirty six sixteen? Thirty six fifteen. Sixteen one six one six. Thirty six sixteen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, from the research I did on this. Um, that resolution was substantially different than uh, HR 2977. Yes, sir. And significantly, it omitted any reference to chemtrails, particle beams, electromagnetic radiation, plasmas, extremely low frequency or ultra high frequency energy radiation, and mind control technology. So the question. I have is it, it seemed to me that it was your intent to include all these in it, right? So uh, if you go if you go with HR 3616 and and we approve this, it will not include any of those things I named. Is that your intent? That that was that was not my intent. My intent and you know, in working with staff, of course, it helped help put this together. Um, because we know that that's, that's, we get help with our staff. Um, the intention was to to include all of the things that people are feeling. Um, yeah, that, that that people are feeling uh, feeling the pressures of and feeling the the attacks of. And so I think that you know I don't I don't know how much of this uh, of that issue that Berkeley had in theirs, um, but I think that to to include this as, and this is the resolution that's saying that we support these. These, um, this this treaty, this act, um, then I, I'd like to have it in there because, again, to me it's important that we that, that we defend, that we support, and that we protect our, our residents. And so uh, if, if these are the things that residents are saying they're feeling, yes. um, then, then well, it should be in there. Well, Berkeley did, well, I'm, I'm looking at the Berkeley resolution, and it just says, uh, it is the will of the council in the city of Berkeley that the U.S. Senate and House of Representatives enact and the U.S. President sign and enforce the Space Preservation, the Space Preservation Act. But I'm confused because there were actually two Space Preservation Acts introduced. And I think if we're going to if we're going to do this right, we need to define which one we're, we're going to support because they're different. <laughs> No, you're you're absolutely right, and and I want the best one to move forward as well, and I'm sure that the residents want the best one, and so if which to me best, which the, the, the best, best one would include all of yeah. HR twenty nine, yeah, which, which is the one. Uh, so yeah, that would be HR two nine seven. Yes. 
Okay. Which is the one that includes right everything. Everything. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, uh, I don't have any other council Good people. I'll do two. Uh, council member, uh, yeah, I got a bunch. Uh, Meyer, uh, no, Weiss, right. Okay, uh, council member Martinez and council member McLaughlin. Yes, um, I uh, wanted to uh, change the language to say that we uh, it, uh, endorse the intent of the act since the act is not actually uh, in place. The intent of which act? The, the intent of the second act. The second? Yes. Uh -huh. The second one is is H.R. Uh, 3616. Right, the intent? You're talking about the intent of 29, 2977, which includes all that, right? Which includes the right. chemtrails. Is that is that right, um, Mr. Mayor? That's my reading of it. Is that what you're saying, uh, Council Member Martinez? Uh, 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 of the revision of mm -hmm. uh, right, mm -hmm. right. Okay, uh, Councilmember McLaughlin. Actually, I did some research on this too. Apparently, uh, Representative Kucinich didn't read fully um, the first resolution that was brought forward in his name. He brought it forward based on some recommendations, and then um, when he realized that it was drawn out to the level that it was, he uh, pulled it. And he brought forward the second one, which is 3616, which I think is, is more general. Um, many of us remember, just to share some uh, input going back, many of us remember in the 80s, Ronald Reagan put forward the Strategic Defense Initiative, which was later dubbed Star Wars. You know, that, yes, that's where this all came from. Um, basically, it was to put weapons technology in space um, as a global global shield as a supposed de defense against China and the Soviet Union. Um, it was later, see, this was seen as in, infeasible. I mean, many other, many people saw this as the idea of putting weapons in space as insane. And I happen to think that it, it, it was a crazy idea, as did the population at large. Then the Clinton administration in 1993 morphed it um, into the uh, ballistic missile defense later in 2002, which is currently now the Missile Defense Agency. But also along the way in 2002, Dennis Kucinich introduced this bill, and it's the second one that he um, fully introduced, 3616, which basically called for a ban on space-based weapons. And um, then it was, I think it was just introduced, um, a, a co-sponsor was Representative Barbara Lee, and um, at a certain point, this Space Preservation Act that was just introduced was brought to the UN, um, and uh, a Space Preservation Treaty was linked with it, and actually the UN had previously um, addressed, uh, set up, uh, established, I guess, the basis for this treaty um, by saying that they wanted a permanent ban on space-based weapons that passed in the United Nations by 156 to zero. Um, then Berkeley supported the 2002 um, Space Preservation Act and I believe also the Space Preservation Treaty. So that's what... Um, uh, Council Member Beckles is referring to in terms of the uh, resolution that she's brought forward. I don't see how anyone cannot support not having weapons in space when it's clearly been supported by the UN and also been supported, uh, been clearly stated by um, by many experts that it's infeasible. This original Ronald Reagan plan to. Uh, dubbed as Star Wars. Um, I think the resolution is fine as it is. It basically says, you know, the residents, the well-being of our residents is of importance to us. And it also, um, you know, it doesn't, um, you know, state pro or con in terms of what um, individuals are saying, but it just refers to the fact that our residents deserve um you know, uh, to be protected, and in general, it states that space-based weapons is something that the city of Richmond does not support. 